Okay, let's get started then. So I'm going to do this column at a time. Uh, so we'll start off over here. I'll zoom it nice and big so we can see it. Uh, so simplify 3x squared plus 5x uh, minus 2x squared plus 4 minus 3x plus 7. So I'm going to collect it together. First of all, my x squared. So that's going to give me 3x squared minus 2x squared would give me x squared. Right, now I want my uh, x's. So for my x's, I've got 4x minus 3x. Uh, and that's going to give me uh, 3 minus, sorry, 5 minus 3 is going to give me plus 2x. And then my number part, I've got a plus 4 and then a plus 7. So that's going to give me a uh, plus 11. Right, factorize. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to make 12 and that add together to make seven. So those values are gonna be uh, four and three. Uh, so I'm gonna have x plus four and x plus three. That's my bracket off there. There we go. Right, solve for x. Four x minus three is equal to five x plus two. So I've got more x's on my right. So I'm gonna minus four x from both sides. So minus 2 is equal to x plus 2. Sorry, minus 3 is equal to uh, x plus 3. Minus 2 from both sides. So minus 5 is equal to x. So x is equal to minus 5. 5 off. There we go. Right, if y is equal to 3x minus 2, find the value of x when y is equal to 4. Uh, so 4 is going to be equal to 3 lots of x minus 2. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So 6 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. Uh, 2 is equal to x. Right, calculate the square root of 196 plus the cube root of 216. Uh, so... So the square root of 196 is uh, 14, and then the cube root of 216 is 6. Uh, so 14 plus 6 is going to give us 20. Right, next column. So uh, a mixture of fruit juice is prepared in a ratio of apple to orange of five, 3 to 5. If 15 litres of apple juice is used, how many litres of orange juice is needed? Uh, so we've got uh, 3 to 2 is apple to orange, 15 of apple. Okay, so we just times in by 5 here. That's quite nice. Uh, so we're just going to say uh, 2 times by 5 is going to give us 10. So 10 litres. Right. Find three fifths of two hundred. Uh, so that's the same as saying three fifths times by two hundred. Uh, so uh, one fifth of two hundred. Uh, so two hundred divided by five is going to give us forty. Uh, so we're doing three times by forty, which is going to give us one hundred and twenty. Um, an item is sold at fifteen percent discount, and the discounted price is eighty five pounds find the original price uh, so 15% uh, discount means that we are paying for 85% of it uh, which works out exceptionally nice so 85 divided by 0 0.85 is going to give us 100 right 100 Okay, so uh, the sequence is 4, 9, 14, 19. Find the eighth term. So this is quite a nice one. Uh, so the nth term is going to be equal to 5n minus 1. Uh, so the eighth term is going to be equal to 5 times by 8 minus 1, which would be 40 minus 1, which would be 39. 
A bag contains six red, four blues, five green. What is the probability of drawing a blue marble? So blue is this one here. So that's going to be four out of the total number, which is going to be 15. So four out of 15. Right, next row, next column, sorry. Uh, desc describe the lines of symmetry and key properties of a regular pentagon. So uh, five lines of symmetry, five lines of symmetry. Y. Symmetry uh, passing one um, passing a vertice and and midpoint. Of opposite side, side regular means five equal sides, and five equal angles. Okay, uh, reflect the point three minus four over the x-axis, provide the new coordinate. So if we're reflecting in the x-axis, uh, it means that our uh, y values are going to be the negative version. So if we're going from three minus four, uh, the new point would be going to three, four. Uh, calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll change this before it goes out. The perimeter of a rectangle is 80 centimeters with a length of 3x and a width of x. Find the dimension. So, when I originally had this question, it was a bit more easy. Uh, so, uh, if we imagine all the way around the outside, that would be uh, 3x plus x plus 3x plus x. So, that would give us a total of 8x. Uh, is going to be equal to 80. Uh, so x is going to be equal to uh, 10, meaning that my dimensions are going to be uh, 30 centimeters. By 10 centimeters. <coughs> Okay, in a right angle triangle, one side is 7 centimeters and the hypotenuse is 25 centimeters. Use Pythagoras' theorem to find the missing side. Uh, so the missing side is going to be equal to the square root, the square root of uh, 25 squared minus uh, 7 squared. So that's going to give me... The square root of uh, 25 squared minus 7 squared. So that's going to give me uh, 24 centimeters. Okay, uh, for a straight line, y is equal to 2x plus 3. Identify the gradient and the y intercept. List at least two points that you would plot to to graph this line. Uh, right, so uh, the gradient is going to be equal to 2 and the intercept on the y-axis is going to be equal to, sorry, c is going to be equal to 3. Uh, and then you can, uh, you can uh, show any point. Uh, one example would be 0, 3. Uh, if we did another one, let's say 10, uh, 10, uh, 23 would be another point on the line. Right, uh, the test scores for five students are 65, 72, 88, 90, and 85. Calculate the average score. Uh, so uh, the average, we're gonna go for the mean average, is gonna be equal to the sum of these. Uh, so 
65 plus 72 plus 88 plus 90 plus 85 divided by 5. Um, just trying to work out if we could do this. Uh, we could do this with that calculator, but we won't. Uh, 65 plus 72 plus 88 plus 90 plus 85 is going to give us a total of 400 divided by 5 is going to give us 80. Right, car travels at constant speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How long will it take to travel 150 kilometers? Uh, well, if speed is equal to distance divided by time, then time is going to be equal to uh, distance divided by speed. Uh, so that's going to give us... Uh, the distance was 150 divided by 60. So 150 divided by 60 gives us uh, 2.5 so 2 hours and 30 minutes so 2 hours and 30 minutes right a pie chart shows that 30 percent of a class of 120 students prefer science how many students is that uh, so we want 30 percent of 120 so i'm going to do 120 times by 0 0.3 uh, which I think is going to give us 36. Let's see, 120 times by 0.3 gives us 36. Right, in a Venn diagram, set X has 18 elements, set Y has 24 elements with 7 elements in common. Calculate the total number of distinct elements in the union of X and Y. Uh, so I'll just draw a very basic. We've got X and Y. Draw a Y. Uh, so we've got seven in the uh, intersection. If there are 18 elements in set X, uh, that means 11 must go there. Let's see right now, 11. Uh, and if there are 24 elements in total, that must mean that we've got uh, uh, 17 there. Uh, so in total, we've got 24 plus 11, uh, we've got 35 elements in the union. Right, calculate the magnitude of a vector given by minus 3, 4. Uh, so the magnitude of a vector uh, is going to be equal, if we call it x, uh, is going to be equal to the square root of uh, minus 3 squared uh, plus 4 squared. Uh, which is going to give us uh, 9 plus 16, which is going to give us a magnitude of 5. Okay, I uh, hope you found that a useful quick warm-up. Uh, good luck with your exams, and I will see you soon.